Welcome back to Unity Principles. This is a series where I go through the reasons behind coding in Unity. I'll explain the why of programming games. This is me. I go by Board Mormon on the forums. Look me up. As you can see, I'm a coder, not an artist. In this episode, I'm going to talk about collections. Collection is a term used to describe a data structure that holds a group of objects. There are four key collection types that we'll use while coding. These are the array, the list, the hash set, and the dictionary. Choosing the best collection for the job can make your code easier to read and more performant. Understanding how these key four collections work is also key to designing your own custom collections. First up is an array. An array is the simplest of collections. You can think of it like a set of pigeonholes. One item can go into each hole. You can easily get to a hole if you know its index. On the downside, if you don't know the index, you need to search through every item in an, in an array to find the item. Arrays are also of a fixed size. Resizing an array is an expensive process and involves copying the entire contents of an array into a new memory location. Arrays should be used when performance and speed of access by index is important. Arrays should also be used when the collection size will never change. The second ordered collection is a list. You can think of a list like a bookshelf. It's pretty easy to find a book by its index. It's easy to change the number of the books on the shelf simply by adding or removing books. There is a cost associated with adding a new book in the middle of the shelf. You have to shuffle everything else down a little. Searching can also be expensive as you have to check each item in the list. So when should you use a list? Lists are used everywhere. If you don't know what collection you want to use, use a list. If you need a collection to be resizable, or if you still want to access items by index or in order. Right, the first unordered collection we'll look at is a hash set. A hash set can be difficult to conceptualize. If you're familiar with hash tables, that's great. If not, consider it like a cutlery drawer. Each item has a special place. The spoons go on one side, the forks on another, and items position in the hash set is defined what an item is. This makes adding and removing items really quick, no matter how big an item gets. It's also fast to search a hash set. If you're after a spoon, you just grab it straight out of the spoon compartment. On the downside, items must be unique. And hash sets don't have indexes, so you can't access items in order. Hash sets are great if you're only interested in if an item is present or absent from a collection. Something like a list of selected units in an RTS game. Hash sets are also great if you are constantly adding and removing items from a collection. The easiest way to think of a dictionary is as a dictionary. Underneath it's slightly different from the books we use. A dictionary is made up of key value pairs. The key is your identifier. Think of it as the words in a dictionary. Keys must be unique. Each key has a value associated with it. The value is like the definition in the dictionary. Values do not have to be unique. Each key and value are linked together. A dictionary works by putting all of the keys into a hash set, like we talked about earlier. This means a dictionary has many similar characteristics to a hash set. Its size is flexible, and it's fast to add, remove, and search. Use a dictionary whenever you need to find a value based on its key. So let's say you are looking up stat values from a string name, or looking up user profile pictures based on the user ID. Any time where you want to find one value based on another key. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, comment below, share it with all your friends or on the forums. If you think I'm wrong, the comments are also a great place to share that too.